Hello, uh, today I'm going to serve number uh, 301, uh, remove invalid parentheses. Okay, let me read the problem. Remove the minimum number of invalid parentheses in order to make the input string valid. Return all possible results. The input string may contain letters other than the parentheses. Let's see the first example. As you can see, there is one close invalid parentheses. So the output would be like this by removing close parentheses. As you can see through the iteration, we can find the one invalid parentheses. But remove option could be various. So we should find all possible valid parentheses. In second example, you can see the alphabet character among the parentheses. You can just put the alphabet character in the result. So to solve this problem, our focus is how to find all the possible valid parentheses. At first, we can think about the brute force way by searching all combinations. But to avoid the time limit exceed, we should find how to cut the searching tree effectively. In this problem, there are six hints are provided. Okay, let me read it. Since we don't know which of the brackets can possibly be removed, we try out all the options. We can use recursion to try out all possibilities for the given expression. For each of the brackets, we have two options. We keep the bracket and add it to the expression that we are building on the fly during recursion. Or we can discard the bracket and move on. The one thing all these valid expressions have in common is that they will all be of the same length. For example, as compared to the original expression, all of these expressions will have the same number of characters removed. Can we somehow find the number of misplaced parentheses and use it in our solution? The one thing all these valid expressions Okay, hint 4 is the same as 3. I'm gonna skip hint 4. For every left parenthesis, we should have a corresponding right parenthesis. We can make use of two counters which keep track of misplaced left and right parenthesis. And in one iteration, we can find out these two values. In this example, through the iteration, we can count left and right parenthesis respectively. So we have two misplaced the left and two misplaced the right parentheses. We found out that the exact number of left and the right parentheses that has to be removed to get a valid expression. So in a, a 1000 parentheses string, uh, if we there are two misplaced the left and two misplaced the uh, right parentheses, uh, after we are done discarding two left and two right parentheses, we'll have only one option per uh, remaining character in the expression. To consider them, uh, we can't discard them. Okay, can you imagine the other algorithm to solve this problem? Okay, let's see the example more closely. Okay, first we have to find invalid parentheses through the first iteration by using opponent close parentheses counter. So in this example, we can find one invalid close parentheses. Let's call this remove count. Open remove count is zero and close remove count is one. We could find this during the first iteration. What is the next step? We have to find all possible combinations of valid parentheses by removing invalid one close parentheses. So how can we do that? We can use the recursive function in brute force way. And then we can cut the searching tree, which is called backtracking. So how can we get the all the possible combinations using recursive function? We can increase the index i to iterate the parentheses string from the beginning to the end. For each parenthesis, we can choose two options. We can include or discard for each parenthesis indexed by i. But discard option could be restricted by checking remove count of the parentheses that should be over zero currently. And after discarding, we have to decrease the remove count 
Remove count is managed for close and open parentheses respectively. With this condition, we can reduce the searching tree dramatically to get the result much faster. Okay, let's see the solution code. This is the first iteration to find invalid parentheses. I use the pair to count to open and close parentheses. Pair is increased when it means the open parentheses and decreased at close parentheses. But pair is zero. We can know that the close parentheses is invalid. So we have to increase the close remove count. And after the iteration, uh, we can use the pair count as the remaining open parentheses. So it could be set as open remove count. And we can call the recur function using open remove count and close remove count. Okay, let's see the code. Recur function starts with index from zero. And the pair count is also zero at the beginning. And open and remove sorry, open and close remove count were found at the first iteration. Index reaches parentheses string length. We already reached the last character. So we should check open and close remove count are zero. Both count should be zero to meet the requirement of this problem, which is removing the minimum number of invalid parentheses. So we push back the expression. And the index is not reaching the end point. We should keep the recursive function call. You could see the five re recursive function call. The first part is discarding the current parentheses. To do that, as you can see, we are checking the remove count over zero. Only in that case, we can remove the current parentheses. To discard the current parentheses, index value is increased without adding character in expression string. And the remove count should be decreased by one. And the second part is adding parentheses. Actually, the first condition is to find the alphabet character. In this case, we just add character in expression string without any change in open and close remove count. And then we can do adding open parentheses. In this case, we add pair count by one. And there is no change in remove count. And this part is the condition to add close parentheses. As I already mentioned, to add close parentheses, we have to check the pair count should be over zero. Because valid parentheses combination have always valid open close pair parentheses. So the uh, pair count should be over zero, which means that the open parentheses is remaining to match with this close parentheses and then decrease the pair count by one. And at the end of recursive function, we should not forget to remove the added character to get the next combination. Okay, this is the basic algorithm to get the all the possible valid combination of parentheses. Okay, let's just see the printout in the right side. As you can see, there is duplication in output parentheses. Why is this happening? Let's just see the input character string. You can find the invalid parentheses found in the first iteration.